So this is my first attempt at recording a video for YouTube and I've decided to take part in the Matt Ragland challenge which is the idea is that we do 10 videos over five weeks so two videos a week um, and looking to talk about things that I'm interested in and things that grab my attention every single day. I'm at home in my studio today and this is my first attempt to do a YouTube video looking at how I work as a writer. I don't write every day, but my goal is to write about 5,000 words a week. Sometimes I achieve that, most of the time I do, but it tends not to be in five tidy little blocks of a thousand words in one hour, five days a week. Um, I often find that I will catch up in a library or go to a coffee shop. I do write at home, and I enjoy leaving the house sometimes just to go and get that change of scenery. So I'm going to be talking about those sorts of things. My first main job was working for a financial organisation, a bank in London, when I was in my late 20s. And I worked in that job for five years uh, before deciding that self-employment was the best way forward for me. I think you start to deal with money and you start to spend, I don't know, it might be 10 minutes a day starting to look at your finances, tidying up your paperwork, making a clear list of what is owed to which organisations and organising that information in a way that you can actually um, deal with it and actually look at the information on a regular basis. These are just some of the things that will allow you to take back control of your finance and find a way to uh, feel a lot happier. Also, what I want to explain within this series of videos is a way that you can start to put money aside, that you can start to build up savings at the same time that you're dealing with debt. So you're building up a cash reserve, you're building up a buffer or a protection that will allow you to move forward and be stronger. So I'm looking forward to this series of videos. Um, Matt Ragland is a friend I know from YouTube. He is often known as the bullet journal guy. He has a podcast called Connect the Dots, but he has a very practical way of looking at uh, self-management and time management and the use of bullet journals. I've always been attracted to time management and planning, and I've used Franklin Planner Systems and Filofaxes all of my working career. And now I use uh, bullet journals because they are what's appropriate to me now in my self-employment phase and have been for the last probably 20 years but Matt has an interesting series of videos on YouTube that I really recommend you watch and check out and subscribe to as well but he's recently announced a YouTube 10 challenge and the idea is that those of us who join the community will over the course of our first five weeks create and upload and post 10 videos onto YouTube talking about what we do, what is important to us, and starting to find a following or starting to at least find a, no, and starting to find a voice for ourselves in the YouTube community. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is very much my introduction, and I'm looking forward to actually taking part in the challenge and building a series of videos over these first five weeks. So if you'd like to follow me and join me, that would be amazing. If you just want to watch and stay in the background and, and make your own notes and observations, completely fine. Um, but I'm going to be talking about my work as an author. I'm going to be talking about how I develop the idea for a book and then create that book from scratch. And I, I hope you'll join me in the challenge, but I also hope you will uh, follow along with this new channel and consider some of the information that I'm going to be sharing from the books that I've created.